Take a look at this home in Derry. The front side smashed in. The second story window split in half after a massive tree toppled onto it. The homeowner tells News 9 no one was hurt. It's just one of many spots around town littered in debris left over by Monday's storm. One that Christy Simard says caught her off guard. It was quick. Um, there was literally nothing going on. And then all of a sudden you hear tons of noise, the wind picks up really hard. When it was really bad, the trees were like bending down, almost touching the ground, and I thought um, one of the trees were going to fall on our house. Luckily, their home was spared, but their power was knocked out. The family's generator, one of many echoing throughout their neighborhood. The entire ordeal creating a sense of deja vu. A similar situation happened this past winter. In the same area, actually. A big old tree just came right down on the lines and... I think that was a good five or six days before we got it back. The majority of outages from yesterday's storm were in the southern portion of the state. Crews continued working overnight and throughout the day, bringing in reinforcements from other New England states. We have more than 100 crews from Maine, Connecticut and Massachusetts that are here while some of the other crews are resting. So we're going to make some good progress today. And now Eversource has restored power to some 70,000 customers. They're hoping uh, to have full restoration sometime tonight. We have crews now leaving this neighborhood and moving on to the next. So hopefully power and everything will be back up and running. We're live in Derry. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.